Hello. What I'm going to introduce to you today is delimited data support. This enhancement is supported in RDVS, the Rocket Data Virtualization Server, as well as all the other variants, uh, such as the Loader, Spark, or the IBM Data Virtualization Manager. What you get with delimited data support uh, is the conversion of delimited data, or .csv files, to SQL data types. It supports data stored in sequential files, ZFS, vSAM, MQ series, or log streams. What happens with delimited data support is it converts the delimited data from files, or the MQ series, or log streams, to an internal record layout uh, as defined in the virtual table. The conversion takes place at the SQL engine after the post read exit has occurred. To activate delimited data support, you need to activate a VTB rule only. Within that VTB rule are some parameters which will be set, one of which is uh, the OPT BDLCV, which when set to one, it activates the, de the delimited processing on the data set returned. The other is where you would uh, set the optional column delimiter character, and the default is comma. And you would also set the optional character string delimiter, and the default is a quotation. It also offers header support because a lot of delimited data contains headers. So with the OPT BD LHR value set to one, uh, you can then set a header string in another PARM in the LHP PARM, uh, and the VTB rule will look for that header string that you define and remove those records from the returning result set. The VTB rule that uh, is supplied is called DVSMDDLM, and that is the rule uh, that all those parameters that we just spoke about are contained in. You can execute this base VTB rule by prefixing your SQL tables in the request, and that will cause this VTB rule to be executed. This DVS MDDLM VTB rule that's supplied is not meant to be the sole and only VTB rule. Uh, it is just the rule that's supplied as a model, and you can copy that rule and create your own rules as needed. Let's jump into a demo now at this time. I already have a delimited data file created called ts5837.staff.csv. And if we look at this file, you can see that it is delimited data and that it does have a column header that has been added to it. So what we can do is we can go over to the studio and we can create a virtual table over that delimited data source sequential file. And then that would allow us to execute queries against that just as you could any other backend data source. So what we would do is we would right click on virtual tables and say create virtual table, choose sequential as the wizard, name the table that we want to create, click next. Next, we would choose the library that contains the copybook for the data layout for the CSV file. In this case, there it is as staff. And there's the layout of the file. We would name the data set name and validate it and say finish to create the virtual table. There, the virtual table has been created. But if we query on this virtual table right now, uh, it will fail with an invalid numeric because the VTB rule uh, to indicate that this file is a delimited data file has not been enabled. So if we go over and activate the VTB rule, uh, we'll see different results in the uh, SQL result set. So I'm going to go into the VTB rules, and I have created my own custom VTB rule called csv.staff. You'll see that this rule is active, 
and that it is uh, also stripping out the specific headers that are on this uh, delimited data set. So if we activate that rule and then jump back and run the service again, you'll see that it now returns the data from the delimited data set and it's formatted properly in the result set. And once these virtual tables are created, just as in any other virtual table, uh, you could use those as a join to other backend data sources. This particular join that I've put together here is going to use the CFV.staff sequential virtual table that we just created to get the salary and the commission amount, and then it's going to join a vSAM file to get uh, the key ID, the data name, uh, department, job, and years. And when you run that, you can see that it returns from the CSV virtual table the salary and commission, but from the vSAM file, it gets the key ID, the name, the department, job, and years. That concludes this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.